Hey guys, I'm Sean McCauley with Cloud Defensive and today we're out here at the range and we're just going to talk a little bit about the RAIN 3.0, uh, why we did it and kind of how it stacks up next to the other guys. So first question is why did we make that 3.0? Uh, a big topic here as of late has been that we had a RAIN 2.0 and then we quickly transitioned into the 3.0. Why? Well, because we could, because the tech was there and because we're really bad at sitting on good tech when we know you guys want it. So what we did very quickly was we iterated as we do and we came up with a 3.0. And uh, for that to actually become a light <laughs> and, to, and to pass that test, it had to be a substantial increase in performance. Uh, that's a meaningful change for you guys. Uh, and uh, with the stuff that we're talking about here, uh, lives are in the balance, right? So we take that really seriously. It's important for me to make sure that anything that moves forward and makes it to the market has a very meaningful step up in performance for you guys. Uh, again, because lives are in the balance, right? So with the 3.0, it did just that. It met that criteria. Uh, first of all, it has 100,000 candela. Uh, we were the first guys to uh, put that flag on the moon, um, if you've seen the, the, the meme that we made. But uh, more importantly, it's not just a candela race here. And I think that's one thing that has kind of come into the picture as of late is uh, it's like, okay, well the next light and the next competitor and the next iteration is always more, more, more. Yes, but no. <laughs> um, one thing that cannot get lost is the importance of lumens. Uh, you're talking about weapon mounted applications, uh, specifically on carbines. You have to be able to throw light a really long ways and we do that very, very well. 100,000 candela, it's the most powerful on the market. That's awesome but you can't do it at the expense of not being able to see what's around your target. Uh, I cannot stress <laughs> too much how important that is. You have to maintain situational awareness, uh, and it's really easy to kind of think of that as being less cool than to be able to throw light a really long ways. You know, if you're trying to PID at, at 50 yards or 100 yards or 200 yards or 300 yards, if you're talking about, you know, um, SPR type platforms, uh, all really important things, but if you can't see the guy just out of sight, just out of picture, you know, if he's got a gun or something like that, uh, that completely changes the dynamic of the situation. So uh, one of the uh, pieces of technology that's kind of come into discussion as of late is that whole LEP concept, right? And they're like, well, why don't you just use LEP? And I'll tell you why. Uh, because if you focus all your light in about a four degree spread and throw it hundreds and hundreds of yards, that's really cool, you know, if you're trying to shoot a coyote at distance or something like that. But for these applications, uh, yeah, that doesn't work. And so it's not that we're against that tech, it's just not right for the application. So what we've done is we've kind of optimized the LED tech. Uh, we changed uh, thermal settings. We did a lot of other upgrades I haven't even talked about here in this 3.0. And what you're gonna find when you compare it to the competition is that it can throw light farther and it's gonna give you more light in a larger area downrange. And again, that's really meaningful when you start to talk about uh, threats, unknown environments, and things of that nature. So uh, yeah, the, the 3.0 brought a lot to the table. It still kept the critical features of the 3.0 uh, in terms of the, uh, the tail cap and the redundancy in the system. So again, you know, you've seen me do it, but if you sever this, the light still works at the tail cap. And uh, the remote still has both the momentary and constant on functionality. Still got the battery jack, which is an under uh, spoken about <laughs> topic. Um, that battery jack is super critical on these things. What it does is it's a battery tensioning device, right? So when you get your light, there's a specific order of events, you put it together right, but in doing so, you tighten that battery jack down and that pushes the battery forward and basically locks it into space. And so when you start to talk about, um, that got stuck, recoil, what you don't want is you don't want a battery floating on two springs. Uh, if I'm gonna be blunt, that's what everybody else's lights offer. Uh, we patented that battery jack really fast for that reason because we wanted to harden the system. So by tightening that battery jack down and jamming that battery up, it's, it's stuck between uh, two really solid pieces there. And no matter how much recoil, the battery doesn't move. That saves the life of your system. Uh, yeah, it just makes for a much better product, right? So you've got all of those features uh, and then you've got 100,000 candela. And uh, you know, when you start talking about 1200 lumens, again, that's a ton of situational awareness. And I think you guys are gonna like it a lot. So, like I said, we're out here at the range and we could talk about this all day, but we really want to show it to you. And we're actually going to show it to you uh, and compare it to a competitor's light, also at 100,000 candela. Uh, it's really interesting when you see it in person. And uh, I hope that the cameras do a good job of picking this up. But with flashlights, more than probably anything else on the rifle, seeing is just believing. It just is. When you see it side by side, there's the winner. 
Uh, so we're gonna do that right now. We're, well, let me rephrase. We're gonna wait for it to get dark, and then we're gonna do it, and I think you guys are gonna be impressed. Okay, guys, so it got dark as promised, and I've got in my hand here uh, Competitor's Light at 700 lumens, uh, 100,000 candela, uh, who shall go unnamed. And I've also got our Rain 3.0. It's actually the one we cut the cable on earlier, <laughs> just to prove a point. Um, 100,000 candela, um, 1200 lumens. So there's a big lumen differential with the same candela rating. Uh, we're gonna show you why that matters. Uh, and just to kind of set you up here a little bit, we're at 50 yards on the bay. I've got Jared standing down range. He's wearing dark clothing, which is pretty realistic, right? Um, and we're going to show you the hot spots and how they differ and we're gonna show you why that matters. So it's gonna take me a second because I kind of gotta walk the lights in here to, to get uh, as honest as I can be. Uh, full disclosure, both these things have fresh rechargeable batteries in them, brand new off the charger. So here's the competitor's light, I'm guessing here. Guessed wrong, okay. So hopefully you can see Jared a little bit there. And what you're gonna see is we've got a, actually got two steel targets down there. And I'm gonna hold the hot spot on both of these lights at the left edge on the hot spot with the steel target, just to be as intellectually honest as possible. So there's the competitor's light, you see Jared, okay? And again, 50 yards. And now I'm gonna walk this one in on him. And so there's the Rain 3.0 at 50 yards. So again, kill that one, go back to the competitor. And ours, Rain. So, very big hotspot difference. Why that matters is Jared is down there. And uh, again, I, I don't think you can see it because I can't see it. But once you turn on the rain, I can see he's got an outstretched arm with a gun in his hand. Um, with this, I know that there's a guy there if I have the awareness to see it, but I cannot see a gun. I just can't. Now, maybe if you had an LPVO or something, you could see it, but my eyes just don't see it. Right there, I absolutely see it. And again, I'm trying to hold the hot spot at the same position on that target, just to show you why that matters. And again, we've both got 100,000 candela, so cool. Uh, but what we've got is we've got so many more lumens, we're able to give you a bigger hot spot at the same rating. That allows you to see more around your target, give you more situational awareness. And I think we just demonstrated why that matters. Like there's a guy with a gun, <laughs> it kind of matters. Uh, yeah, so you gotta have candela because you need to throw light a long ways, but you gotta have lumens as well. And if you don't have enough uh, horsepower, which would be your lumen output, you can't, you can't get it done. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. Like, <laughs> that's how you get killed. So uh, why we're doing what we're doing here, we're, it's not just, like I said, just purely a candela race. It's a, it's a race to a better and better weapon light, a more functional weapon light that when you deploy it, gives you usable light in the places you need. You know, you have to be able to kill the darkness, not just in front of you, but around it. Uh, that's what the Rain 3.0 does. That's why we did what we did with it. And uh, that's why, why they're here now. So thanks again for the support. If you have any questions, let us know. And uh, take those reins out and uh, put them to work.